Dear sisters and brothers in Christ This Sunday we continue to hear from chapter 7 of the Gospel of Mark the remaining portion of the chapter It's chapter 7 verses 31 to 37 However it's not a discussion as that of last Sunday Today we hear of the report of the cure of a person who is deaf with a speech impediment as there is an allusion to Isaiah chapter 35 verses 5 to 6 at the end of this report the first reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 35 verses 4 to 7 it provides a background and almost an interpretation of the gospel passage the second reading is from the letter of st james chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 the gospel passage although a small pericope has in a way five steps at first the setting or the scene it reads thus verse 31 again he left the district of tyre and went by way of sidon to the sea of galilee into the district of the decapolis then second the bringing of a person who is sick and the request for healing 732 and the people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him third the process of healing this is verses 33 and 34 he took him off by himself away from the crowd he put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said ephata that is be opened and the fourth is the healing effected verse 35 and immediately the man's ears were opened his speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly and finally five the reaction to the healing done verses 36 and 37 he ordered them not to tell anyone but the more he ordered them not to the more they proclaimed it they were exceedingly astonished and they said he has done all things well he makes the deaf hear and the mute speak so we can see this pericope in five steps this healing reported only in mark's gospel has several peculiarities to it first of all this is not in the territory of palestine it's in a non jewish territory secondly jesus takes the sick man away from the crowd third jesus makes use of the spittle in the process fourth the word that jesus said as command is reported in aramaic ephata and the fifth the words of isaiah are made use of in expressing the astonishment of the people now jesus by effecting the healing at decapolis that is in the known jewish territory wants to show that the salvation that has come through him is for all people by that salvation all peoples should be enabled to hear and talk therefore the church today has the obligation to continue this ministry so that every people every person be enabled to hear and to stand up and speak they should be able to know what happens and respond no one should remain in a culture of silence everybody should be able to speak for themselves for their rights and finally sing the praises of god jesus also took the sick man away from the crowd he did not want the crowd to witness what he wanted to do on the needy person he wanted to uphold the dignity of the needy or the sick person jesus acknowledged the fact that even the poor and the needy have their human dignity which had to be ensured this is a lesson for the workers of the gospel 
the gospel that they proclaim should uphold the dignity of every human person at another specificity of this miracle is that the deafness is not presented as a demon possession immediately before this miracle the sickness of the daughter of the Syrophoenician woman is presented as the possession of a demon we hear of similar possessions in mark 1 21 to 28 and 9 14 to 29 jesus is the one who heals the maladies of the people the church therefore should rightly and in all seriousness mercy continue its mission towards the sick without any other motives attached to it the command of jesus in aramaic effata meant be opened what jesus meant is that let your ear be opened by god that's why he looked up to heaven it was a passive expression in which the agent was god it was a divine passive and to be opened by god is to constitute a new creation that citation made at the end of the miracle as astonishment from the part of the hearers and those present he has done all things well goes back to genesis 1:31 where it is said god looked at everything he had made and found it very good jesus effects a new creation among all the peoples the church today has the ministry to do the same the church and each individual member should come up with new perspectives during this period of crisis and difficulty especially as the pandemic reigns in the whole world the opening of the ears and freeing of the tongue are not just physical experiences but symbolic ones as well it happens to each and every christian from the time of the ancient church the baptismal liturgies have continued to enact this rite of opening the ears and lips in the jewish understanding the opening of the ears meant receiving of revelation as seen in the qumran texts and in the targums which are a translation into aramaic of the hebrew scriptures therefore every christian has to open the ears of his mind and heart to receive the word of god and men and women should yearn to hear the word of god and then proclaim it in fact the curing of the deaf person physically meant also his curing in the social level in the society of that time being physically challenged was considered as a punishment of god for one's own sin or one's parents sin as we hear it said in chapter 9 of john's gospel that means every such person was sitting at the periphery or margins of the society jesus then by healing the man was lifting him up from marginalization was bringing him forefront of the society the disciples of christ the christian community therefore should do everything to stop marginalization and any kind of discrimination such an invitation is explicitly found in the second reading that we hear today from the letter of james we should pay attention to read the portion assigned from james and meditate and put it into practice the very first verse says my brothers show no partiality as ye are dear to the faith in our glorious lord jesus christ the letter of james is a clarion cry for social justice which each one of us should hear dear friends our ears should get opened our speech impediment should be removed in such a way that we are enabled to hear the word of god and that we are enabled to sing the praises of god amen